Hi, I'm Haley Goldsmith. I'm here today to show you five different story times in a box. If you're not familiar with story time in a box, it's essentially a theme box with books and related activities. There are age ranges that these can be designed for. I will add links to the sites where more information can be found on each activity. These are all suggestions that can be customized or improved upon, but if you improve them, please share. Um, box one, the theme is animals and their sounds. While this seems pretty basic, I've designed this box for pre-readers, specifically toddlers, but that is flexible. Book one is Do Cows Meow by Selena Yoon. Book two is Book 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 by Deborah Bruss and illustrated by Tiffany B. Book three is Moo Ba La 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 by Sandra Boynton. I would recommend encouraging both parents and children to make these sounds with you while you're reading. The first activity included in this box is an animal mask. Like uh, there are various animal masks that uh, the children can color and strings to tie them on. Activity two is a little sheep, like this one, uh, made up of pre-cut shapes and cotton balls and the children can just stick it all together. Activity three is a sensory play activity that doesn't really fit in the box exactly. Uh, <laughs> there are three aluminum tens, old cake pans will work. Uh, the first is filled with artificial moss that I've glued to the bottom and some small farm animals that the kids can like play with and explore. The second tray has sand uh, and desert animals. I use kinetic sand since it's a little less messy. And the last tray has a little water and marine animals. The theme of box two is planes, trains, and automobiles. This box is also for pre-readers, and I would suggest a little closer to preschool aged. Book one is Little Blue Truck by Alice Shirtle and illustrated by Jill McElmory. Book two is Locomotive by Brian Plaza. Book three is The Little Airplane by Lois Linsky. The activities for this box are a clothespin plane that can be painted and glued together using one clothespin and a couple small uh, popsicle sticks. You can paint it any color you want. The second activity is a pattern train with choo-choo wheels. This is made up of pre-cut rectangles and triangles that they can just glue together. And a fun part is the wheels. The pattern calls for wheel noodles, but there were none to be found, so <laughs> Duros will do. And that looks like this. The last activity is a road sea sky sort. I've printed images of each, you can see here. Um, and little toy boats, planes, and Hot Wheels that they can sort onto the corresponding images. All these. The theme of box three is dragons. The age group is beginning readers and it's about four to six years old. Book one is Dragons Love Tacos by Adam Rubin and illustrated by Daniel Salmeri. Book two is The Knight and the Dragon by Tommy De Paola. Book three is My Father's Dragon by Ruth Stiles Gannett and illustrated by Ruth Christman Gannett. The activities for this box, box are this dragon egg. I couldn't find anything egg-shaped so a sphere had to do. Who's to say what a dragon's eggs look like anyway? Um, it is a foam sphere with paper mache glitter and decorated with jewels or sequins. Activity two is this fire breathing dragon puppet uh, for the kids to color, cut out, and glue together. They can breathe fire. Activity three is a pre cut felt dragon mask uh, that they can glue together and decorate. This can come in really any color you want to make. The theme of box four is growth mindset, and it's been designed for intermediate readers around six to nine years old. Book one is What Can You Do With an Idea by Kobe Yamada and illustrated by Maeve Bessa. Book two is The Most Magnificent Thing by Ashley Spires. Book three is The Book of Mistakes by Karina Lukin. The first activity in this box is an ink blot art. Like this one. This is created by adding some paint, folding the paper in half, and making something beautiful from the result. A butterfly. Book two is a wheel of, or activity two is a wheel of fortune. I took a circle, split it up like a pizza. Um, you can have 
as many slices as you like. You name them and then write your bowl um, for each one. And the activity three is a worksheet. We can take um, negative thoughts and transform them into positive ones. Surprisingly hard. The theme of box five is classic fantasy, my favorite. It is another for intermediate readers. These books are a little longer, but age appropriate. Uh, so I would suggest reading excerpts or assigning the reading uh, to the student via like summer reading uh, would be a really good opportunity for that. Uh, book one is The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe by C.S. Lewis. Book two is A Wrinkle in Time by Madeline Langle. Book three is The Giver by Lois Lowry. The activities for this box are um, a crest like this one that can be designed as they like. Uh, there is medieval meaning to the colors and the designs that can be incorporated. Um, gold for wisdom, also my last name is Goldsmith, um, so hence the hammer, I guess the smith is the idea. Um, silver for truth, black for wisdom, so lots of wisdom. Um, activity two is a planet that they can create using any kind of sphere and paper mache. Uh, decorated however they would like, and like this one. Um, they can name it, uh, give it life, moon, suns, well, the world is theirs. And the third activity, the final one, is creating a game. The instructions for this one are to, to use just one of the blocks. Um, but I decided to do an overall fantasy themed game incorporating parts of each of the books and just some like fantasy, the, like a fantasy genre. Um, it's not the best um, design, but that doesn't really matter. And the winner gets to take it home. So it has that. You also have cards with questions and other kind of like setbacks and like successes. And you have a dice and little playing tiles. And that's it. Uh, if you'd like more information on specifics or have suggestions, please leave a comment and good luck and happy reading.